Hello, and welcome to my first proper YouTube video. Um, I've deliberately avoided this video for almost a year now, because I want to be able to sort of come at it fresh and, and previously unseen. Um, I know a couple Luthiers have already done react videos of this when the video is still new and fresh, and I wanted to wait it out and not have it seem like I was aping on their ideas, and instead have it be, you know, just an earnest reaction to it rather than, you know, trying to copy their input, so I've avoided their videos as well. Here we go, blind react. Hey, how's it going? Back to I love Brad and Eddie. I like you know, that they've made the classical music world more accessible. Really I think that's cool. what I try to do with uh, Luthery. Ta-da! <laughs> <laughs> Look at that, guys. It says Fragile. Fragile. Must yeah. be Italian. Treat a fragile package. Yeah. But today we are building a violin. A DIY violin. So this appeared on our Ling Ling 40 Hours a while ago. Yeah. I don't know if it's the exact same one exact same model but we found we so DIY online, violin kits still requires some basic woodworking I mean, tools and some basic woodworking yeah, experience that requires specialized tools US and I don't know if that's going to be what they're expecting I feel like they'll be expecting more of like a finish your own violin or a paint by numbers equivalent this is all that's protecting the violin that is not <coughs> it looks like tamarind wood which is a nice dark wood but it wears very quickly under the strings and fingers wow. look at that Dude, that looks nasty. It looks like I glued it and ripped it out. Why That's is it a glue pretty typical yeah, CNC really scroll. Cool. They glue the gluing surface to the actual workbench so the CNC can work around it. The whole violin will probably be Before CNC, reveal, except for uh, F holes, which will be laser cut. If you want to keep watching, make sure you accent it. That's right, see this? Oh! Oh! That is not well, ideal. Someone didn't pay attention to the fragile sticker, but I want my $61 back. Why is there a pencil mark in the middle of the back? That's the a center line. It's just so you can make sure the back goes on straight and so you can get the neck and end pin aligned as well. There's no varnish. Why is this black? Why would it be varnished if it's DIY? I don't understand. Like, I mean, we could try to get super glue, but... Wait a second! It doesn't even work! It doesn't even work! He's Necks good? aren't press fit, it's uh, mortise and tenons. You need it to cut the mortise the into the neck block in order to yeah, insert yeah, the neck at the correct angle. Oh. Alright, so now here's all the accessories. Let's analyze them one by one. Look at the strings. All oh, four bundled up together. Those are pretty typical so steel core strings. They're like 80 cents a set to manufacture. The bits, the ends, sharp. Not just shut, they look like rusted. That's disgusting. Yeah. yeah, it looks rusty. Uh, you probably rusty. can't see Packaging's it, not airtight, so they uh, corrode pretty fast. It looks rusty and disgusting. And the bridge, oh my god. Okay. No it looks like an adequate no bridge blank. String, guys. Not what? a good one. Where do you put the strings in? But you need to cut and fit them to size for the violin and <laughs> shape them as well. So and same with the pegs, they need to be pegs, tapered and the then the peg box needs to be reamed out. The peg, like that insert. But there's no holes. There's no holes. <laughs> I'm meant to drill yeah, it myself. Yeah, fit the pegs and then you drill fit. the holes. I can't even build a violin. This is <laughs> Wait, it's a sound post. There's a chip in it. That's fine. It's a sound post blank, so the chips on the That's end don't matter. The they get cut off when you fit them. Yeah. And there's a chip there. What? <laughs> 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 FYI, a sound post to fit inside the violin, right? But look at this. It's taller. Sound post is in. Oh, nice. Well, why'd I put the end pin? <laughs> on the center line. What's the ratings on With the drill. 98.6% <laughs> positive feedback. That is the biggest line. Product quality above average. <laughs> above average. We have glue or tape. Oh, we have tape. We can just wrap it up. I will say nothing about We've the wood I've glue. seen so far is above average. <laughs> so I love sticky tape. Let me get started with this. Yeah. <laughs> glue stick. The stuff you use in school, yeah. primary school, you guys remember this? Dude, this glue is so dry. Yeah, you can see I don't use glue, hey. Alright, let's go. Transformer. Bro, that's so wrong. It doesn't even touch. We've messed up. Nah, it's fine. Guys, this is it. We got this tape. This is really a DIY violin. It's definitely above Certainly is. quality product. Yeah, I, I really recommend. Yeah. Making it yourself and buying something like this. This is definitely better than a viola. Yeah. Oh, beautiful. Stop <laughs> shitting on violas. Straight. Leaning towel pizza. But no. violin version. Oh, now we need glue. Dude, that angle's wrong. <laughs> the neck angle's so wrong. It should be like higher. Yeah. Well, not that high, but this is wrong. 
Alright, let's go. Oh, glue. oh yeah. Look at that. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's it's so wobbly. <laughs> Look at that. My cup was vibrato. I don't know. The glue actually worked. Okay, what's next? The pegs that don't fit. Do you want to drill a hole? I don't have a drill though. Bro, it's sticking out the top. Okay, look at that. Beautiful. <gasps> what? There's no hole in the chin rest. So you can't even... You can't... Fresh off the CNC. Power. You, you gotta drill it for clamp still. Construction worker. This violin looks like... Me covering my intonation. <laughs> yeah. Dude, it's not going in. What do you mean? None of these holes and the things that are meant to go in the holes are matching are the size. Oh, God. Wait, but how's the strings gonna go? It can't. Oh, you know what? We just sticky tape. <laughs> See that? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I think this one's a G-string. So we gotta do that. Loop it in. Okay, don't pull it too hard. I don't think this tape's gonna hold. G-strings um, on this side. Well, bro, that's not gonna support <laughs> anything. Ah, uh, let me think. Sticky tape! Is the bridge gonna fit under that? Just check one. Oh! oh! Oh, the bridge works! Dude, look at how it's sticking on the freaking... <clears throat> Alright, let's do the other pegs. Here's a technique called uh, stick the peg on the violin technique. Just wrap it around the pegs and just... Yeah. Alright, we're gonna put the string on now. You name it in Italian, right. people pay you extra right. for it. Look at that, DNG! Alright guys, we're working twice double now. Cause just cause... You're putting the A or the E peg on? I'm putting the A. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, look at that! <laughs> oh, it's like that, um, you know Toy Story? Have you seen Toy Story 3, that spoon? <laughs> this is Forky. worse than I expected. Yeah, this is... I literally thought it was like a legit... I thought it could be put together. Put together and maybe make a sound. All right. I thought it was gonna be put together and varnished? What part of that is do-it-yourself? I don't think it will bother the... <laughs> nah, won't go. not even possible. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, but there's no drill. Just stick it on. Alright, there we go. Alright, uh, the bridge. <clears throat> oh oh wow, that? that is monumental. Can you guys see it? That's face dangling. That is a very it's thick top. Dangling. It's kind of weird that the top came fitted because you have to take it off to cut the neck mortise and also to re-thickness it in this case. I think we need a Quite often DIY kits have yeah, the top yeah. packaged separately. Oh, the issue like not glued on yet. We need a sticky tape to support this. It's not gonna work. <laughs> there you go. And look at this. Double taping on both sides. Wow, this violin is like... How's it even for sale? 60 bucks. This probably costs like one cent. 60 bucks is dirt cheap yeah, for even dirt. just yeah, that yeah, amount of wood, even though it's, you know, <laughs> subpar. Um, a very good fingerboard blank is over 60 right, bucks just on its own. Guess what it'll sound like. Get the viola bow. Alright. Here we it. go, guys. I'm feel, feel like gonna so play. This is the 3 mil chike. Sibelius. The 3 mil Sibelius. just <laughs> It's actually pretty cool. It's yeah. got this like death rattle. It's like it's like someone's at the near death. <laughs> Dude, the bridge is gone. Dude, this is messed up. What the hell? Da na 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 na. Now it's a suspension bridge. Dude, this island feels hazardous. It is hazardous. Wow, okay, there you go. What should we do with it now? Throw it away. <clears throat> Smash it. Can we burn it? <laughs> Goodbye. Alright guys, that's it for the video. So honestly, not the worst DIY violin kit I've ever seen. Uh, it was at the very least spruce and maple, albeit not very good spruce or maple. I've seen a lot that are just basswood or linden, and that's not even going to withstand string tension without cracking on you. Um, obviously, I wouldn't recommend this particular violin kit. Um, even, you know, hands off, sight unseen, it was terribly packaged, and that's not ever, you know, excusable. 
But I do think a DIY violin kit would be fun for someone who's sort of just dipping their toes into Lou 3 or just coming back to it after like a hiatus of 20 years or so. Um, you only really need basic woodworking tools. You need, you know, um, a regular power drill. You would need a peg reamer and shaver set. And you would need a, even just a spoon knife. You can get all those off Amazon and not need any of the specialized tools like purfling cutters, um, clamps, scrapers, an assortment of planes that an actual luthier would need. So, you know, if you're dipping your toes in and don't feel like spending, you know, 600 to 1,000 bucks just on tools for that, I think it'd be fun. You know, a $60 kit plus maybe 80 bucks in, you know, beginner levels of all of those tools total. And then even just, uh, you know, a little $8 jar of hide glue and a $12 jar of shellac from the hardware store would get it to be a functional instrument. And you'd probably need just like a regular old craft exacto knife as well. I don't know. I think it, it could be fun if you're dipping your toes in. I think it'd be fun just for the sake of experimentation, really. I might pick one up. I might grab one just for funsies. I don't know. Who can say? <laughs>